I want to add my voice of gratitude to the many members of this committee who have expressed our gratitude for the men and women of our intelligence community. Uh, as President-elect Trump said on Friday, he has tremendous respect for those men and women, and I share that as well. Uh, second, uh, those men and women have concluded that Russia hacked into the DNC and John Podesta's email. And while this committee, as the chairman said, will conduct a thorough inquiry into this matter, I have no reason to doubt those conclusions. Third, I don't doubt it in part because Vladimir Putin is KGB. Always has been, always will be. Back in the Cold War, Russian intelligence used to refer to the United States as the main enemy, and they still do today. Vladimir Putin undermines the United States and our interest for the same reason the scorpion stings the frog as it crosses the river. It's in his nature. And he's done much worse for the last 18 years across numerous domains. Seventh, Donald Trump won this election fair and square. Vladimir Putin didn't hack into Hillary Clinton's calendar and delete rallies in Michigan and Wisconsin, didn't hack into the speechwriter's computer and delete speeches that lay down a compelling vision for the working class. It's time to look into the mirror, say that Hillary Clinton lost this election not because of Vladimir Putin or Jim Comey or fake news or the Electoral College, but because she ran a bad, ca bad campaign. That brings me to a conclusion in the report about the clear escalation, Director Clapper, uh, of the scope of the activities, that Russia has conducted these kind of activities uh, in recent years, but this was a clear escalation in the scope and the scale. Is that correct? That's correct. Why did they think they could get away with that kind of clear escalation against U.S. interests? I think they, uh, the, the, the challenge, particularly in the, in the cyber realm, I'll say, is that it, there's kind of an in, insidious progression uh, of aggressiveness. And I, I've certainly seen this over the last six years or so where uh, other countries uh, get progressively more as they get as they develop more capability. They uh, also have an attendant willingness to try to use it, and we're seeing this particularly with kind of the, the second tier, uh, meaning North Korea and, and Iran, um, who are, don't have the, cap the cyber capability. We, we don't believe of the level of sophistication of the, certainly the Russians or the Chinese, but they are uh, progressing, and that's to me is what's bothersome about this whole business of, uh, of cyber and when do you uh, draw the line to say, you know, enough's enough. Let's move to the question of motive. The report states that at first Russia, uh, in the assessment of the IC, had a uh, desire to undermine the uh, U.S. democracy, to sow discord and confusion um, over time, though, or that, and as it viewed Hillary Clinton as the likely winner. Um, to undermine her presidency, but over time it developed uh, a clear preference as the language for Donald Trump. Um, can you tell us when Russia viewed Hillary Clinton as the likely winner? I think that was in the uh, summer time frame, perhaps July, August or so. Um, can you tell us when you believe that uh, Vladimir Putin developed a clear preference for Donald Trump? Uh, sometime after that, I don't know that, and certainly not in this setting, uh, we can pick a date when he, he shifted gears, but uh, he clearly did. Did he, did he or the intelligence services ever believe that Donald Trump was a likely winner? Uh, initially, no. Uh, they thought he was a fringe candidate uh, and didn't think that at all. A newspaper headline about the report over the weekend said something, I paraphrase, uh, that uh, Russian cyber attack aims to install Putin in White House. Would a more accurate headline perhaps be Russian cyber attack aims to undermine expected Clinton presidency? Uh, I don't think you'll find a line like that in our report. Uh, the, uh, your assessment of motive is based in part on the selective leaking and the relative levels of targeting Democratic material and Republican material on the one hand versus the other. Is that correct? So the Demo that more Democratic material was leaked, even though Russian oh, Republicans? Yes, clearly. Is it possible that they just leaked the Democratic material because they thought Hillary Clinton was going to win and they wanted to undermine her and they didn't view it as profitable to leak Republican material? Well, that's, yes. I mean, that, seemed, that would seem to be the logical uh, uh, observation that uh, they they favored uh, President-elect and they uh, wished to 
denigrate as much as possible uh, Hillary Clinton, and it, had she won, their plan was to try to undermine her, her presidency. One final question about the leaks that have happened in this case. First in December, before President Obama directed this review to occur, and then there were none until last Wednesday night when the Washington Post reported on what may be sensitive signals intelligence. Um, Director Comey, have you received a crimes report from anyone in the intelligence community about these leaks? I don't think yet as to the December leak or anything, obviously, this month. Not yet. Mr. Chairman, I suggest that we should include those leaks as part of our inquiry. The chair and the, and the vice chair are working on that right now.